Hi there. I have been away for some time and during that time the world has been crazy. I have a few thoughts in my mind and I'm sure you'll some of you at least some of you will resonate with that. Uh look today I don't have a script with me. I do not know what I'm going to say. I don't know the exact words, but I know my intent. I know my feeling. I know the feeling when I first read on Nikon Rimos that Nikon Rimos will not be available to for Russian users, for Russian common people. and i have a big problem with that first it assumes an innocence the innocence is that there are people in the rest of the world who are fine who are just completely innocent and there are people in russia the russians they're all bunch of idiots that they're, they're the bad people that they're 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 evil right that's the assumption so they don't get to read or watch things that the rest of the world is talking about they don't get to talk about cameras or creativity or filmmaking because they're bad people that's the assumption or the other assumption could be just by blocking some of this goodness from the world for example by blocking netflix and other services you compel them to create pressure on the government the government that they have chosen for some reason or the or the other which they thought is right for their uh, for the lives right so as an indian when uh, when pakistan does something should i blame the common people of pakistan or should i be blame the government it's so easy for us indians to hate the pakistanis the better the 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 better people from us they choose not to hate the pakistanis they isolate the people from the government people who work for power and money and just that nothing else not for the people at all look at pakistan in the last 70 years they've gone nowhere and in india we haven't done much better either but the point is we should be able to separate the people from the government we should be able to separate the people who suffer from the people who are in power who most of the times make them suffer should we hold the Uh, the english people of today responsible for what the forefathers did uh, about 70 80 years back in india should we should we should we call them murderers see there's no logic in it i think at a time when the common russians are not able to understand uh, what the different narratives are it's important to connect to them it's not good to dis- disengage from them look the common russians think that you know um that that ukraine is in the wrong but are they what is the other point of view they don't know they don't have access like uh, like when you look at china people in china they do not have the full picture of how the world is how the world is function right now it is important therefore to have the full spectrum in front of them one secondly nikon remos is about photography camera the love for nikon and all those things how is it going to help if we just stop some russians who are some 16 year russian who doesn't care about these these wars and i'm sure he doesn't feel good great about it that guy who wants to know more about his brand who wants to know know more about photography what do you gain by stopping that guy from reading about something that's not about war that's not about killing people how does that help you how does that help anyone how does it help ukraine why do i talk about this but i'm talking about this being conscious that i'm talking to people who at least say who at least say or project that they are in the business of creativity that they who are they driven by is creativity and i know what the basis of creativity is the basis of creativity is truth it is only when you can separate the lies from the truth and the genuineness from the pretenses you have you have something like sarcasm you have irony you have real sadness you have real anger you have real love you have real empathy you cannot have none of those things without truth and those things those emo- emotions are the basis of all creativity are the basis of all creativity you either work with love or you evoke love you either work with jealousy or you evoke jealousy you either work with anger or you evoke anger or you work with anger but evoke love or you work with love but evoke anger those are ingredients for a creative person those are the outcomes of the creative product and that cannot be done if you do if you, if you do not have the balls to face truth the truth is the people of russia most of them have a version of that truth have a narrative that they that they are falling prey to nothing on in the world can justify a war so some of things are going wrong some of people are acting uh, a little bit too much on a few things and that has to be understood it has to be understood you just can't ban a whole group of people from reading something reading something that has nothing to do with the war it it just outright wrong 
to ban a group of people who have not taken the decision to invade Ukraine. It's not a bunch of Russians who said, let's go attack Ukraine. It's this one person who did it, right? Ban that guy, not the rest of the Russians. And for God's sake, now come down from the high horses and just, just, just be normal human beings. You're not, you cannot be, if you think citizens are to be blamed for government's actions, all of the Western countries and civil, civilians of all of those countries are to be blamed for much of the plague that, that the world is suffering right now. The problems in Africa, Middle East in Asia, Southeast in Asia, you have a huge role to play. You have a huge role, role to play in the conflict between India and China because the way the British have drawn up the map. You have a huge role to play in the conflict between Pakistan, India and Pakistan because the way the ma maps are drawn. And the, uh, uh, and, and the Durand line between Pakistan and Afghanistan, it's, it's perennially unresolved. The conflict in, in Palestine and, and Israel, the English people... The British government back then, they had a, a very important role to play and they, and they really fucked it up. So should I now say, we should all cancel all of you guys because you know what, your government took a decision. That's how stupid, thoughtless, childish the decision to, brand, to ban Russians is by Nikon Rimas. It makes absolute no sense. I'm sorry this, this got political because and I don't think photography should be political, at least talking about gear and technology and all that, unless you're making a political statement with the creative output. So I think let's just forget these things then. I think let's welcome the Russian brothers and just talk about, talk to them, present to them another alternative, engage with them, don't fight with them. Engage with them. It's just another medium. It's just another way to talk to them, right? Russia is already actively trying to block out a lot of uh, a lot of channels and outlets media outlets and you know content from the rest of the world they're doing it because they want to preserve their side of the pro propaganda they don't want to pollute that propaganda from things that coming from outside don't help don't help that guy who's taking these decisions